In 424 of the Quran, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Unlawful for Muslims are married women except those whom your right hands possess. So I can go to the Hadith, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Abu Dawood, but I think you know that this is referring to when the Muslims are in war and they attack a place and they take people captive and they find beautiful women that they've taken captive who are married. The Quran says those women, though they're married because they are captives, they are lawful for you to have sex with. You can sell them. Are you okay with that? So now you're talking about Malakat al yamin Yep. And Maghanim, which are like spoils, I guess. Yes. So you so okay with that? We're talking about. We're talking about. There's a battle, and uh, when you've won the battle, uh, there. There are simply no. So, who engages in battle at the end of the day? It's men, right? It's not children or elderly or women who were out there on their horses or camels and swords fighting. It was men. So when and 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 you, as you know, battling and wars and all this was the law of the land in in, in, in the ancient Middle East, and, and you know this even even in the pre-Islamic days. So um, when there are when if, if somebody wins a battle and there's no more men or a shortage of men and there's all these women, it's 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 even in the Bible they used to, you know, they will go and they will marry the women and they or they will take them and they will. We're not talking know, about marriage. And yeah. so this is a common practice Jihad. which goes back to as easy. Yeah, that wasn't what I said. We're not talking about taking women and marrying them who are not married. The Quran says that these women are still married. You can still have sex with them. The husbands are not dead; they're alive, and you don't have to marry them. You can have sex with them. Okay? Yeah, okay, so there's. It doesn't say, "Oh, they're still alive." Don't go. Did you read four twenty-four, brothers in the humanity? Let me repeat what it says: Unlawful are married women, except those whom your right hands possess. If they're not still married, you don't make an exception. And then the hadith I mean, says their husbands let were let still look, alive. Let me look at this on the. Let me look at this on the computer. Go ahead. And the hadith says their husbands were still alive. So in Abu Dawood, I'll give you the hadith. You can read it. So the right hand possessions are essentially when, when you have won a war, you you have uh, sport, uh, you know you have certain rights. So you have rights to right. sleep with a married woman that you've taken captive? No, I mean, she's not married at that point. The husband's still alive, the hadith says. She's there. He's there. It says it. Their husbands were still alive. Sunan Abu Dawood, number 2150. I'll give you the hadith. Sunan Abu Dawood. Abu Dawood. Abu let, me go, let me go to, let me go to well, Let me get it for you. Hold on. I'll get it for you. The husbands didn't go anywhere. There you go. So read it for us. It's right there. I'll take a look, I'll take a look at it. Okay. Abu Dawood. Occasion the battle of Hunayn, they met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captive. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have relations with the female captives because of their pagan husbands. So, Allah, so why didn't they want to have sex with them? Because they knew their husbands uh, prior to their death. Where does it say death? So you added to that, it stuck for Allah. Then if they're Where dead, does it they're not say married. they were alive? They Where just said it. They, they didn't want to have sex with him because of their husbands. If the husbands are dead, then there has no husbands for them to worry about. Let me give you another hadith. Does it say that they're dead, that they're alive? Yeah, we're reluctant to have intercourse with the female because captives. Been, so, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay. Just... So, so, first of all, this hadith doesn't support your argument, and it doesn't necessarily support mine either. But it doesn't say that their husbands were alive. Read the Arabic for me, because I have this translation. There's two translations. It says, we're reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. Now, you listen to your logic as you read the Arabic. Listen to what you're saying. If their husbands weren't alive, that means they're not married. There's nothing to worry about, right? Right? Because if the husbands are dead, then there's nothing to worry about. They're not married. They're not married. So why worry about their husbands who are dead and they're no longer married? That means they're not married. They're widows, so you can have them. Hello? 
people. These guys were, I mean, these were the these were the enemies. These were the people who. So, it's okay for a Muslim if he's in doing jihad and he takes captive women who are married to have sex with the woman, right? You're okay with that? At that time, this is what was permitted. And where has it? Where well, do you as find? I said, if we go to third, so this is a descriptive. So. If we go to the Bible, you will find the same thing. No, and you then won't. You'll not tell here. Me, we don't do it now. No, okay? the Bible doesn't teach this. We don't do this. it now. This happened at that time. But jihad, you're not listening. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that the Israelites could take a married woman captive and have sex with her. The Bible actually does something better than the Quran. It says when you find a woman, you marry her and honor her. You can't touch a woman who's married. And if there's a woman captive who's single, you don't have sex with her. It says marry her and treat her as a wife and honor her. Deuteronomy 21, 10 to 14. Now listen to this point as you go there. Surah, Surah Nisa 424. Can you tell me where this does not apply to Muslims doing jihad today? If a Muslim does jihad and he attacks a place, you're telling me that verse is no longer applicable? So jihad is no longer applicable? Jihad is over with? Yeah. Uh, I mean, well. Really? It's it's all. It's not. In, in in this way, it's not prescribed. So you're saying when the Muslims do jihad, they're going against the Quran because jihad is done with. Even though the Hadith say you will struggle in the way of Allah till the last day, even against the Jews, that the Jews will be hiding behind a stone, and a stone will say, "Yeah, Abdullah." Here's, you're saying you're honestly saying jihad is done with. That's it. Um, well, it's complicated. It's complicated. So when ICE entered Iraq, took Yazidi women and Christian women and Yahudi women and were raping them. Well, I won't say rape, sleeping with them. They were going against the Quran? Uh, well, you say there has to be a state. What happens when you don't have an Islamic state and when you, you don't have a Kharif who's following Sharia? And then you have Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi claiming to be the Khalif and fighting in the cause of Allah. Are you saying Quranically they're wrong? If so, where? Give me the Hadith and the Quran says they're wrong. Look, 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 look. I'm not going to sit here and, and go into all that. Because so are you okay then with a Muslim man taking a married woman captive? And I mean, look, better yet, you're okay with your prophet doing it? Were you okay with your prophet doing it? It was something that they did back then. And you're okay with your prophet doing it? Prescribed. So you're okay. Huh? Then. You're okay with your prophet. He did that. Married women having sex with them and then selling them off. You're okay with it? Look, if 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 if, if, if there were no more men after the war, then, then there had to be some men to take care of those women. You mean the men, her, their husbands were still alive? They were not there? The husbands that they took captive, that was right there. What do you mean there were no men? The husbands were there. Why not just give them to their husbands? Because they were imprisoned. Okay, so you're okay with it.